to this edition of What a Horse, and we're going to be busy after a while. Yes, sir, we will. Well, I'm going to let you go ahead and get busy, and then we're going to tell everybody why we're going to be busy after a while. That'll work. We'll be right back after these messages. Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And JD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. Two-time world champion and world grand champion Joe Hall is now standing at stud during the 2023 breeding season at Precious Memory Farm for $750. Contact Daniel Miller, 931-703-5830 or Shane Porterfield, 615-809-4257. Joe Hall is now standing at stud at Precious Memory Farm. What's a Tennessee vacation? It starts off like any road trip, and then boom. Adventure and thrills everywhere you look, which happens to be some of the most beautiful scenery in the country. Music here, history there, and all kinds of green in between. Come relax and unwind, or bring the crowd for some stargazing, or stargazing. Whatever you do, come hungry and expect an awesome soundtrack. It's all right here in Tennessee. We're playing your song. For a free vacation guide, visit tnvacation.com. The Tennessee Walking Horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or an obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee Walking Horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. If it's a competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect family horse by young and old. Whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee Walking Horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also remember one simple truth. If you ride one today, you're on one tomorrow. That's a fact. All righty, I'm going to make some quick announcements and then we got some news we're going to give out. Uh, Christmas in July starts tonight. Now the show airs on TV tomorrow, but we're on YouTube, Facebook this afternoon. Show starts tonight, 4.30 is the gate call. And that's Friday and Saturday. Or, or thir Tuesday. Tuesday. I'm, boy, I'm yeah. Tuesday and Wednesday. Thursday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I'll get it right in a minute. One, one announcement, though. The fine harness class has been moved to Thursday night, class 73. That's the second class Thursday night. So everybody mark that down. Also, I want you to know that the money for the kids is up to, they get 900 bucks now. Oh. The trainer gets five, but the kids, anybody want to contribute to this, see Carol Misseldine, and we'll end up with 2000 you, you think I can show in that kid class? Do what? You think I can show in the kid class? I doubt it. <laughs> they won't let me in there either. But this is great for the kids. 
remember, Christmas in July, you got to go watch it. And remember, Class 73 Fine Harness, Amateur Five Harness, has moved to Thursday night, the second class. Uh, Money Tree is Friday night, June 30th, at the Cal Sunday. You can contact Kerry Tisma at 678 576 1290. For any information, judges are Scott Beatty, Scotty Brooks, and Dale Watts. Woodbury Saturday night, July the 1st. Start time is 5 p.m. Judge is Jamie Lawrence, and he's a good one. So I'm just telling everybody it's going to be one heck of a week. We got over 250 classes to go to. <clears throat> now, on a sad note, Epic multi-time world grand champion had to be euthanized at Rude and Riddle. And I'm telling you, you talk about a good one, Jerry. He's a real good one. He's been, he, was a, he was a good one now. And I know that broke everybody's heart. Yep. I know it, it really, really bothered Sadie. She texted me and talked to me about it yesterday. I know Megan is probably distraught over it. It's just... Uh, it's a heck of a thing when you lose a horse of that caliber. That's right. And uh, Been so good to you and all this stuff. It's, it's a hard feeling. <clears throat> you get attached to them. I don't care if you do sell them or whatever. I mean, you get attached to them. You remember them for a yeah. long time. And I know Sadie had just, uh, well, her and I had just talked about doing, getting a celebration ad together for him. And uh, then she texts me and tells me, that uh, they found a major problem, and, and it's uh, it's a shame. Sadie was just getting to where oh, she yeah. could. Oh yeah, well she can ride him real well. Ride him real well, and then this happened. So I know it's. Uh, I know it's heartbreaking. It, it's got to be heartbreaking. It just, uh, that was her last show. Yeah. And that's, uh, he made a heck of a show over there. But Sadie knew something was wrong. She said something's wrong with it because I just don't know what it is. And uh, so she uh, took some steps to find out and Rudin Riddle told her that the uh, most humane thing to do would be to put Epic down. Yeah. That's a sad, sad situation, believe me. All right. I want to also let everybody know that we will have jewelry available. I'm still getting rid of Carol's. I got several people that's going to see me this weekend that's wanting certain pieces that are even out of this that are going to be gone. But it's first come, first serve. Some real nice jewelry right there. Tell me about it. I've got a, I've got several pieces of horseshoe jewelry, but that ring right there keeps catching my eye because it's it's got a good good price on it. I figured the blacksmith done bought the necklace. Yes. Cause it it's priced. Matter of fact, the chain would cost you as much as the whole item cost. <laughs> If anybody's interested, just see me during the horse shows this weekend because I will have it out and about. And uh, if you're interested, I can take care of it yep. in a heartbeat. Won't take me long anyway. <laughs> I that got a lady that's interested in that, that big pendant there, which that's, that's a nice pendant. But anybody that knows Richard's jewelry, they know that they always had some some real Ideal top. items. I yeah, mean, just, real nice jewelry. Just super nice. All right. I guess that, that's about all the information we got other than we're, what we're going to be doing in the, the horse show. Last week, we had a real good one. Had a good and, show. Uh, yeah. This show this week, Christmas in July, I really like the idea of giving these kids money. Yeah. That's something uh, to me that... If you got some spare money, mm -hmm. nobody got spare money. <laughs> but you just go up to Carol and say, hey, Carol, let me uh, chip in a little bit here. 
I'd love to see the kids walk out of there with two grand. Uh, yep. That'd I hope so, I tell you. Trainer might not like it, <laughs> but trainer's going to get 500 <laughs> I mean, and that's good. I mean, he oh, got yeah. the horse ready. He got, got the horse ready. Train. But I mean, it's something for them kids and make the kids want to do it a little bit more. Yeah. Make them go say, buy me a horse, horse so I can win. Win, that's right. And that's it. And and we got plenty of horses out there. But I, I guarantee you that class is going to be huge. Oh, yeah. That would be a big class. If they wasn't going to be in it, their parents see they're going to get that kind of money. <laughs> they're going to say, no, nah, you're going to enter that the class. class. <laughs> that's one class you're going to get in. I'd love to see it myself. Yeah. Because I remember, what was it? Down in Tunica, back, oh, Lord, this is when Tunica first started. They had a jackpot prize for the groom. Yeah. And the night they had it, it kept getting bigger. Big. And I think the groom ended up getting $2,000, yeah. mm -hmm. I believe it was. I mean, that's a, that's a oh, big of a, that was a big That was a big class. That was a big thing there. I mean, it, it really went over well. Everybody was wanting to do it yeah. after that. Everybody was wanting to show in, the, in that class. I'm looking forward to this weekend. The Woodbury show is always a good one to go to, but the one at the Money Tree, they uh, it's going to be in the Calasani. That will be that's always a good show. Oh yeah, I think all these shows this weekend will be real good shows. People want to you know excited. I see a lot of people come in town. You know I'm right there on the main highway there on 231. I see trucks and trailers been coming in. All these, I've all got, the time. I've got phone calls and everything saying, do you think it's going to be a big show? So I'm seeing several vehicles or trailers coming in. I said, well, what does that tell you? I mean, we've got, it's, it's showtime. Oh, yeah, it's showtime. Don't, People coming in. Thing, on Facebook the other day, there was a conversation about, and I agree with this 100%, but I think it should be the trainers and the owners are the ones that need to decide this, but a committee needs to be formed to where we can control the classes and how long they go, how many there are. And, and this is for the protection of the horse, the rider, the trainer, yes. everybody. And this heat, and of course, when, when you have people call you, and, and, and I'm, I'm bad about this, I'm guilty of it. When I was helping do a show, somebody called, let's add a class, let's add. And I'm guilty of doing it. Yes. So I, I mean, it's, I'm not throwing rocks. If I am, it's, it's hitting me right between the eyes. But Kerry Benedict and some other people, they had some good points about this. And I feel very strongly about having a committee that helps set the way we do this to where we don't override each other and overdo Well, if you're going to have so many classes and whatever. Well, well, let's go ahead and yeah. watch Victory Passes okay. while we're talking about this. That'll work. We got him from the cancer show. <coughs> That's a that was a good um, ride right there on that he did. Oh, champ! Yeah, Eli Cunningham. I tell you what, Eli Eli's a rider. Oh now. yeah, he, he can ride them a, horses. He's a jockey. Yeah, he'll get it done. There's no doubt about it. He can get it done. But on them shows, if a, if a person would take. And if you're gonna have so many classes, you should add another night. So you won't, yeah. so, cause by the time the end of the class come, holy ain't nobody there cause right. it's too late. Right. Yeah. Well, if you look, there's, I believe, we're running right at 30 classes a night for, and that's what most shows run. Yeah. Is 30, 30 classes, which, I mean, that's just it. Here's Dim the Lights and Sadie Parsons for riding Sadie Parsons. She made a good ride on this horse right oh, here. Oh, she did? I yes. thought she made an excellent ride. Yes. And Kayla Balkum yeah, made a good, fantastic, fantastic ride on that mm -hmm. horse. And, and we're not, I want everybody to understand when we're talking about, we're not throwing rocks at what's happening because we're all guilty of it. But it's something that we all need to think about, and especially when you, and this was pointed out when, Everybody has a five and under class. It diminishes the number of horses. Yes. Because it's hard to show a horse back to back. And then we need to look at weekends that we have no shows. Yes. Because that's a big issue. We got to talk about, I'm going to let you talk about this. Oh, that horse right there is a good horse. Jeremy does a good job with that horse right there. Him and Samantha done a real good job. You better mention his name. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm going to mention his name. You know, that's my... <laughs> That's my son. 
That's, and, what, that's the reason I wanted you to do this. I right. want him Congratulations to, to him. He just got engaged. <laughs> that's what I saw. Yes. Congratulations, Jeremy. I've seen that. I mean, I'm getting old. Yeah, you are. A you wiser mean, one. Hey, hey, you. <laughs> well, you get older and wiser, Jerry. I, that, that's for sure. <laughs> you just got to learn from your mistakes. That's right. I tell you what, I like this horse. Oh yeah, that here. horse has a good horse. Clay does a good job. He, he does. With he that really horse. does. Yeah. He's got a good crew working out there for him. Yeah. It won't be long before he'll be losing some of his horses too, because he's he's got some youngsters that are growing like weeds. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. But he'll be teaching them how to clean them stalls and groom them horses. And then he'll yep. teach them how to ride. Right, that's right. <laughs> I know Justin's proud of that horse. Right here, straight Republican. Amen. Justin Harney. I believe, I'm not sure, but I, I, Joe Link is listed as the owner, but I think Justin bought that horse. I haven't asked him, but I believe he did. Tell you what, I like him. Yeah. He's got he's got a front end, he's got a head shape, he's got a back end. And Justin does a good job riding him. All right, and here's Jose is Ritzy Hawk and Emma Black. That's no nice man. I, I was proud of her. Yeah, I really was. I thought Emma Ride, rides very real, well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Real good. She does a good job. Yeah. And it's a, there's times I thought that, you know, that she should have won a class. Mm hmm. But if I applied for a judge's license, I'm sure they'd lose my, my paperwork. <laughs> Jerry, we lost your paper. That's, we don't know what. That's and about I, me I, too. I don't, I don't really blame them. Let's go yeah. to Belfast. <laughs> we got something from down there. We can get it all, buddy. <clears throat> I thought I sent this to to Mandy because I thought this was uh, pretty cool. Yeah, Mandy done a good job and, with that and, pony right there. And I thought that that uh, Lane did the smart thing. Yeah, and him and his son took one on the chin. Mm -hmm. they, uh, they let mama and daughter walk off with the blue. Yeah. I don't blame them. I would have to. But it's, there he is. He, I, I think Hawk's more interested in being a cowboy anyway. That's right. This time at the show season, all these ponies finna pop, start popping up. <laughs> they're gonna be, they're gonna be everywhere. Yep. Hmm. Oh, Hawk, getting it done. Oh yeah. <laughs> right here, Georgia, Florida line, show pleasure amateur winner. Right here's another one of the great ones. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a nice horse. He done a lot of winning in that class there too. Yep. Oh yeah. Robert does a great job yeah, now. Robert he does, does a good job. And, and he, he goes he goes out and hunts them horses now. Yeah. And right here, Cole Hahn and Ali Joe. I'm gonna tell you, those two together always make a statement. Oh yeah. Number one, that's a huge horse, and that's a little bitty girl. But that little girl rides like a big girl. I asked her. I asked her over at the, at the uh, Champions Arena one night. I said, "Girl, you you'd ride a wild goat." She said, "I ride anything I can catch." <laughs> Yeah, I, I believe she meant it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I told, she better not better not take her to no rodeos where there's bull riding. She'd be out there on one. On one. Right here, Dijano. 
and Daniel Smith. I tell you what, I'm sold on Daniel. Oh yeah. Now he he sits up, I mean, uses he them hands yeah. well, sets well. I thought he made a fantastic show the other yeah. night. He made a real good show. Tell you what, that youth pleasure, show pleasure class, getting to be huge now. Oh, yeah. Right here's a champ in Eli Cunningham. He's getting the blue. He's getting it done, Oh, eh? yeah. He got that blue because that suit he had on. <laughs> That's only because he's right. real well mm -hmm. with Good job, Eli. We'll probably see him this weekend, too. Yeah. And here, here, th this right here tickled me. You just don't know how much. Oh, yeah. Zorro Jr. and Maxine Beasley for Beth Beasley. I talked to Max, I talked to Beth about it, and she said, we may see this in the celebration. Now, I'm telling you. I tell I, you, that, that was a good class that she I was in. It, it was. I, I mean. They better watch her. That's right. She's been there. And, some of his old people say, hey, put her back down to youth you division. We don't right. want her up here. Beth said that's one of her favorite horses, though, Zorro Jr. And, hey, this horse right here in the breeding stud now, buddy, oh, yeah. 750. He's got over 40 blues, including four world championships. You can't ask for more than nope, that. No, you can't in the World Grand Championship. Jose, it ain't so in R.M. Kellett. That's about, one. what more can you say? Oh yeah, that's a nice horse. He's been a nice horse for a long time. No, Spencer's glad to have him over there. Oh yeah. That's, that's, he should make a good breeding stuff. Yeah. He really should. I know Jake proud of him. But that was, uh, that was a great show down yeah. there. I mean, we've had some good shows. Had some really good shows. And some, now we're going to have 250 some odd classes the rest of the week. Man. Boy, you're going to be tired. Yeah, but I love it, though. I'm going to kick back red. <laughs> you better <laughs> do what, what yours is so we can go. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Same bloodline, same mother, same father, and here he is. Now this is offspring. Now Hero is standing at stud at Jerry Williams stable. Yes, that, I'm gonna tell you, that's a, that's a real nice horse. That horse had an injury happen to him in the stall when he was young, um, but now I tell you, got, all, got a lot of talent, that Hero horse does. He's a real nice horse. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee walking horse. But I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. And we've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida. And now, for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls. And there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411, and see if I can save you money on your communications. What does Habitat for Humanity build? Hope. Opportunity. Joy and togetherness. Growth and transformation. Strength and stability. Community. Home. Hey everybody, I'm Garth Brooks. And I'm Trisha Yearwood. And nothing illustrates the beauty of what we can build together, like Habitat for Humanity. A safe, decent, affordable place to call home is a campus full of possibility. In our work with Habitat, we've seen what's possible. Financial stability, peace of mind, 
Room to grow and play, better health, brighter futures. In your community and around the world right now, neighbors are helping neighbors build masterpieces of their own. Visit Habitat.org to learn more and get involved today. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi night shows, sibling and progeny searches, rider cup standing, stallion reports. They even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. All righty. Now we're ready to get down to some business. Yes, sir. Walking for angels. That was one heck of a show. That was, was a good some, show. There were some good classes. I mean, they had racking classes, walking classes. They uh, had had a little bit of everything. Yep. Right here, amateur two-year-old stallions. Now, this young lady, hey, she ain't, <laughs> they better watch her. Jose is king of Queens and Summer Brooks. Yeah. When you got her on a two-year-old like this, and don't forget, see, she's got black listener too. I tell you, that's a nice horse right class. There. So this young lady, when she comes out, she's coming to do some business. And she's got a two-year-old and an aged horse. Hey, I know her father, Dwight, is tickled to death. But this right here, Jose is king of queens. Go get them, girl. And right here, all day pleasure, amateur English. She's never been kissed in Kimberly Walden. I'm, I'm gonna tell you, I could talk all day about Kimberly. That's right, Kimberly because, and Perry is two good people. Hey, she, she is just, she's super. Now she is. She was in there with a, with a major Jose and Amanda Madness, which is no slouch of a horse, a good horse. But never been kissed in Kimberly Walden. They took the blue. And I'm going to tell you one of the things I like about Kimberly a lot. Right there she is. She puts children, our youth, she supports them big yeah. time by letting them ride her horses, show her horses. Yeah. Ain't everybody does that. No. Uh-uh. And, and that I admire more than anything is that her willingness to, to work with the kids and help them. And when, have you ever seen the expression on her face when one of the youth went on her horse? Oh, I mean, she, it lights up even more, I believe, oh, than yeah. when she wins. When she wins, that's right. Okay, well, both of those are good horses right there. What is never been kissed in Kimberly Walden, your all day pleasure amateur English winner. She has never been kissed. Nice horse. Perry seemed to be doing good. Yeah. I know he, he had, to, had an accident here a while back and hurt his hand. I am a Kimberly Walden fan, buddy. You can bet on that. I hope I got that water truck over there this oh, weekend. Yeah. That place is going to be dusty because mm -hmm. that's going to be horses everywhere. <clears throat> And 
And right here, I am big enough and Maxine Beasley. This young lady, just slap her in the saddle and turn her loose. Because she loves to get it done. Oh, yeah. She was the pony winner. That young lady can ride, Jerry. Yes. She can flat ride. I am big enough. Look at old Greg. He's on the fence. He's watching every move. She oh, makes. yeah. Right here's a speed wrecking youth division. They had some fast ones in this class. Oh, yeah. They, they get out there and go, don't they? Oh, yeah. They get out there and get going. <laughs> Willard smoking gun. Chandler Lee took the blue. Willard send a fella. Shelby Perry was reserved. Bad Angel, Jack Kale. Third, mounts one chance fancy. Isabella Pennington and gunpowder and lead. Adeline Pena. I tell you what, gunpowder and lead. Roy, I'm doing the class. Let me call you back. Speed racing. So oh, yeah, it is now. Them kids get into that. Well, everybody get into it. Well, they like to they like to watch that speed too. Don't, there's only yeah. one problem I can see. Slow rank, please. A whole lot of dust. Rank. Oh yeah. Because <laughs> they are stirring up the dust, buddy. I'm gonna oh, tell you, you know, it's it takes pretty good to keep them horses in gate going around that ring. You see how that one broke? Yeah, that right there doesn't come that, out again. That's what I'm saying. But to get them to go that fast and can go around that curve like that, you know. Well, they. People talk about, and Sonny McCarter and I talked about this, and they call this speed racket. Yeah. But in all honesty, you know what I think it is? Pacing. Uh -huh. I really do. Because they, they, uh, they just, they look great. Don't get me wrong. But I guess you call it speed racket. They flat get the, get the job done, and people get into it screaming, yelling, hooping, and a holler, and that's all that matters. Everybody happy time. Yeah. There's your winner. Show pleasure amateur class. This was a good class here that show hey, pleasure. This was a I tough tell you, class. in this class right here, you know, the horse that won it won it. Real good, but I mean it was no slouch in that class. No. I'm moonlighting won the class, but there was a lot of people screaming for I'm Sky Black and Alice. That, that's and what Armstrong. I'm saying. But now this it wasn't the slouch that in that class. Eight? You could have tied either one of these horses first in this class right here. Then you had Tennessee State Line and Dr. Jim Baum. But now it was, it was loaded with some good, good horses. horses. That's right. That horse right there is flat and beautiful. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, he really is. And that horse right there? Oh, yeah. I mean, That's good. Oh, he's a real good horse. He's 
getting it done. But that's what Allison I'm saying. Did a, Allison did a good job riding him. Yeah. Did but a real good job with it. You can look at any one of them horses in that class, and it all depends on what you like. Yeah. Yep. Skyler. Yeah. And Dr. Bomb, well, you, you, Dr. Bomb, Dr. Bomb. Bomb yeah. He's a vet, he's a, he's a uh, amateur trainer. Yeah. And, and Skyler comes from a family of legends. Yeah, that's right. But right here is your one that people really liked. Yeah. Show pleasure amateur reserve winner. I'm Sky Black and Allison Armstrong. I thought she made a fantastic yeah. show myself. Really looked good. Right here is a, was a real good class, and that really was yeah. all day pleasure, two and three year old amateur. And I get to brag on one of my favorite riders again, Kimberly. <laughs> Kimberly Walden took the blue on Skip the Line. She's unbuckled believe, leave them, unbelievable. Un how the world am I going to say? She's unbuckleable. Boy, Take someone tongue tight. Maggie Moore, I'll shoot you for naming that horse. That I can't say it. She's unbelievable. Is that it? I got it. Thank you, Maggie. Pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> Silver Dragon and Miles Irby was third. She's Diamond at the Ritz and Perry Walden. Kimberly picked on Perry. <laughs> Good job, Kimberly. <laughs> And Diva and Dixie, Caitlin Winstead finished out the ribbon. Especially with the equipment we're using, things like that. That's, that's the name of it. Yeah. At Buckskin. Yeah. There's Perry. She's unbelievable. Maggie, that, that's a pretty good name. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to give her credit. That, that is a good name. Class of this. I tell you, bragging on that lady right there and what she does for children or youth is, is something else. Yeah, I really, I really admire it. I truly do. Right there it is, Skip the Line and Kimberly Walden, or Kimberly and Perry Walden. All day pleasure, two and three year old amateur winner. You know, they work a lot of their own horses. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And this lady is a mule lady too. Oh yeah. She loves them walking horses, but she'll ride them mules. Skip the line. Right here, you 12 to 17. This was a packed class. Oh, yeah. I mean, they, they were in there everywhere. A Super Bowl MVP in B.B. Beasley took the blue. Von Miller, Madeline Smith was reserved. Jose the Champ, Cole McCormick, Dale Soul, Kenley Johnson, and I am Texas, Cohen Abernathy finished out the ribbon. But I'm going to tell you, Super Bowl MVP was outstanding, and I yeah. thought Von Miller made a, a real good show. Madeline is a, is a good horse person. Oh, yeah. But there's a lot of quality in that class. Oh, right? it is a lot of quality. Hey, 
You know what, what? Really and truly, though, when you when you look at it, the trainer that gets these horses ready for these youngsters, he, he doesn't get a lot of the limelight when the youth's out there, but a lot of it is is what he did yeah. to get that horse ready for these youth to ride. Right. You're exactly right. And that's one thing that people really need to look at. <clears throat> Jimmy McConnell told me one time that, that when I interviewed him after he won the World Grand Championship, that he had more pride in the in the amateurs winning. Yeah. He said, that's what defines me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that make you feel like you, you can work that horse at home, get that horse ready for a kid to ride him and control him and make a real good show. Well, then, and I mean, you you training then. Yeah. That's that's what I'm. Mean. That is horse training. That is horse training. If you got one that just a trainer can ride, yeah, then you haven't done a whole not, heck of a that's lot. That's right. Really. I mean, you've done good, but not. You, you haven't reached that plateau. That, that's right. That well, goal. you can put somebody else on him, and the horse look this is good with the other person on the do with you. That's why when you look up at like BB or Maxine yeah. coming in there on Zorro Jr., you say what? I mean. That makes an exclamation mark. That's right. Especially that 11 and under class. Oh, Lord, yeah. That 11 and under is, is, is something special. Yeah. It really is. Right there she is. A Super Bowl MVP in B.B. Beasley. Yep. Your youth 12 to 17 winner. I wouldn't out, try to outride one of these kids. No. Nah, ain't no way. Right here, your four-year-old stallions. I'm gonna do a little talking now, because I'm gonna tell you, Koufax, I like that horse. Uh, yeah. Koufax and Blaze Picard took the blue for Wagman and Picard. Ram Jam, Dickie Shrivener was reserved for Laura Williams. He's Mr. Maverick. Bill Calloway for Holcomb and Masters. And Jen Slangblade, Jimmy McConnell for Beverly Sherman. But I'm here to tell you, I watched Koufax out there and Blaze has flat got his number. Yeah, he is a walking piece of work. It was a good class here, too. Yeah, it is. She is. Yeah. I tell you what, there's so many in there. It's, there's only well, there's only four, but just catching them when you can get a good That's shot right. of them. Mm -hmm. wow. Look there. I'm gonna tell you, I watched Blaze the whole time, just about. And I watched the others too, but now Blaze rode. Well, she she just rode the hair off that horse. I like him. What now? He he gets your attention. Yeah, he sit does. Back in that, sit back in that brow. There she Real is. Bold Koufax going. and Blaze Picard <coughs> took the blue. Walking piece of work, buddy. Blaze Picard makes a ride. Mark my words, one of these days that young lady is going to wear the, the roses in the big class. Yeah. They're going to watch her. This one right here might be the one she does it with, too. 
That is one good horse. That is. Here's your Marin Gildan Championship right here. In the likes, and Kayla Balkum took the blue in this class for Rod and Sadie Parsons. Empty pockets, R.M. Kelly for Tammy Austin, L.D. and Tammy Austin. Neon Cowboy, Edgar Abernathy for Glenda Nichols. Jose's Ritzy Hawk, Jeremy Williams, Evergreen Walking Horse Farm. A master's degree in Jack, uh, Chad Way for Jack Heffington. Code of Honor, Link Webb for Mac Williams Farm. She's rich in cash, Dan Waddell for Todd and Dylan Jackson. And Titleist Masterpiece, Philip Trimble for Dan and Jay Crawford. If there's any light at the end of the tunnel for Sadie after losing Epic, it's the fact that she owns Dim the Lights. I'm gonna tell you, that didn't look like Jeremy Williams on that horse. Well, me and him was in there together. You didn't get no ribbon. I ain't get no ribbon. But uh -oh. now Jeremy's on a real good horse, uh -oh. though. Oh, is that it? <clears throat> yeah. So you're saying your son beat you? Yeah, he did. Yeah. All right, I'm just checking now. First time my son beat me arm wrestling and said he'll never admit it. <laughs> hey, what now? This was a tough class. That was a good class. You did pretty good right there. Dim the lights and Caleb Balkum. I tell you what, now she, she's a good rider. Rod and Sadie Slagle or Parsons. I got Rod Slagle on my mind for some reason. He must have done something. I'm gonna have to call him and find out. Rod and Sadie Parsons. I tell you what, I like that horse. Oh yeah. Sadie will also be showing that horse here in some much. Her and Gayla both will yeah. probably show him. I tell you what, she's got him hitting on all cylinders, yeah. that's for sure. We seen Elbert. Did you see Elsie? Mm-hmm. She's sitting there, she's watching everything. <laughs> all right, I, I guess we got to go to, I lost my sheet, what you got? We're going to a commercial, right? Yes. Okay, it's your turn. We'll be right back after these messages. Can't believe you're doing this alone. I've done it before. I remember. You threw your back out. <laughs> How you holding up? Hand me that board. Nothing wrong with getting help. I'm good. I did it when Felicia left. I'll figure it out. I know you will. But you don't have to do it alone, that's all I'm saying. If I promise to look into it, will you drop it and help me build this fence? <laughs> now you need my help. You can be a real pain sometimes, you know? Mm -hmm. If you or a veteran you know needs support, don't wait. Reach out. Find resources at va.gov reach. The Mona Dean family is proud to announce that the multi-time world champion and world grand champion minor ordeal is now available for breeding at Sugar Creek Breeding Facility for the 2023 spring braiding season. Minor Ordeal. Minor Ordeal has proven year after year that he is one of the elite champions of all time winning five World Grand Championships, one World Grand Championship, and the Reserve World Grand Championship as well. Make the call to breed to a true champion, minor ordeal, 
Six-time world champion in amateur and open competition, four-time amateur world grand champion, and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dowell at Fantasy Farm in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931-389-6983 for breeding information. An estimated 11 million Americans have heart valve disease, but most of us know little to nothing about it. People can be born with valve problems, or they can develop from cardiovascular disease, infections, certain cancer treatments, and age, with older adults at the highest risk. If diagnosed early, it can usually be successfully treated, no matter what your age. Valve disease can cause a number of symptoms, including lightheadedness, irregular heartbeat, shortness of breath, tiredness, swelling of the ankles and feet, and not feeling like yourself in general but is often only detected when your heart is listened to by a healthcare professional. So listen to your heart, see your healthcare professional, discuss your risk factors and any potential symptoms, and go to valvediseaseday.org to learn more. More of What a Horse coming up. <laughs> All right, we're, I'm all time talking about youth classes. Yes. Well, I, I want to, we, we got one more youth that I want to show. <laughs> and I, I'm going to tell you, I like showing this young man simply because the way he sets a horse reminds me of the way Billy Gray rode in some of your older Pascals. Yeah. The mm -hmm. way that they've set, just, I mean, they're glued in on what they're doing. doing yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you watch him in a saddle, Daniel Smith is about as glued in as he can get on oh, what yeah. he's doing. Yeah. And, and I, I admire that, especially in a young man, because he's not, what, 15, 16? Mm -hmm. You know, I think about that age, yeah. I don't know that he's, he would be that old. I need to find out how old he is. I don't think he's driving. But this is your youth show pleasure class here. My Texas Tornado and Jackson Wittenberg took the blue. DeJano and Daniel Schmidt for Larry and Elsie West was reserved. Well-armed American, Reese Abernathy. I am Jose Jr., Corbin Parker. My name, Jose, Georgia Hazelwood. And beautiful, or delightful, I'm sorry, delightful Jose Storm Sims finished out the ribbons. And this is in the Youth Show Pleasure class. Well, everybody's wiping sweat on the rail. Oh, yeah. That dust get over on them, they get good and muddy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Daniel. I tell you what, Daniel just, to me, I, I like watching him ride. I like the way he handles himself. He does a good job. Oh, yeah. Right there he is. DeJano and Daniel Smith oh, yeah. for owner Larry West. Larry and Elsie West. But I like watching him in the saddle. Oh yeah, me too. He sits up in that saddle. He does. He sits up and he does a good job. Yeah. Pays attention to what he's doing. Right here, amateur novice stallions. Now, I'm gonna tell everybody this. <laughs> that young lady right there won this class. Walk for roses. 
It's a nice horse. Great horse. But a lot of people don't realize who she is. She won her first World Grand Championship when she was 11. And the last time she showed until she started showing Walk for Roses was he's on Georgia time and she won a World Grand Championship. Her mother was well known for showing gin, fire, and ice. Mm -hmm. Now she's Kelly Clark now, but she is Kelly Gordon Clark. And if you watch her set that saddle, yeah. and then go back and look at videos of her mother, mm -hmm. if she had blonde hair, she'd be the this split thing. image. <clears throat> yep. But Walt for Roses took the blue with Kelly Clark. I am the Alamo, Lynn Heacock was reserved. Alpha Romeo, Gary Kaiser, Lethal Black Gin, Stratton Silvers, and Hollywood Knight, Steve Wilson finished out the ribbons. But right here, amateur novice stay and champion, Walt for Roses and Kelly Clark for Clark and Brassy. I'm telling you, this right here, it tells it all. You look at her setting that saddle, and watch her tote them roses. But now she's been in this industry a long time. Yep, she has. She flat knows how to ride a horse. Russ told me, he said, I talked to her before she went in. I said, you okay? And she says, I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> so she went in there and got it done. I want to remind everybody, 4.30 this afternoon, is tea time. <laughs> we, yep. They're going to kick off the show in Shelbyville Christmas in July. And you got 108 classes in three days. So get ready. Take your water cooler with you. That's right. Make sure they got an a ice good machine comfortable, around. A good get comfortable you a, chair. Get you a good comfy chair. Lay and out sit the back sun. and just watch the show. <laughs> <laughs> get you some popcorn. Yep. That's going to be a good show. Now, it's really going to be a good show. I'm looking forward to it. I believe I believe it'll be packed, but I'm anxious to see how many youth are in the youth class. That's the one too. class I want to see. I want to see how many will be in there. I think it'll be a bunch. If I, it can be I, like some of the other classes that I have seen last year in the youth class, you have packed. 12, 15 horses hit the ring. I want it packed I would, full. I would love to see it. Whoever... And I honestly believe, and I want to tell everybody now, if you got any, if you would like to contribute, look up Carol Misseldine and just give her some cash. Yeah. It'll all go to the kids. I'm going to promise you that, every dime of it. Well, we better get out of here and get ready to go over there. You're over there to the horse show. So Hope we'll, everybody can be at the, come to the horse shows this week. We'll see everybody in a little while. See you later. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunker down low and reach high to the sky. I got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner's circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.